What's up, y'all? So, I haven't did a reaction video in so long, but I had to react to this video because I seen a clip of it, and it's just so Like, women, women can be so funny at times. Like, they can be, women are crazy, bro. I don't care. Don't let no girl tell you differently. They crazy for the right one. So, I just want to get into it because this one right here, hilarious. So, hop in it. Are you serious right now? What's going on here? Are you serious, Marcus? What is this? What's going on here? No, tell me what you're doing here right now. Today, I want to tell you guys about the time that we helped Yo-Yo place her boyfriend's Marcus to an epic... First of all, her name's Yo-Yo. Bro, red flag number one. Loyalty test. Okay, okay. What you doing here with Loma staying then? I already told you. It's a follow-up appointment. I'm showing you the... A follow-up appointment. Oh, so you a doctor too? You a doctor too? Marcus. Marcus. This is a date. This is a date. I'm You're a doctor you too? It goes without saying that Marcus ended up failing this loyalty test. But before I can let you guys watch the rest of this confrontation, I gotta give you guys some short, sweet context. So during lockdown, Marcus picked up photography as a hobby, and Yo-Yo was helping him out by asking some of her friends to model for him. Well, this is where Yo-Yo's trust issues began. See, some of Yo-Yo's friends ended up telling her that during their photo shoot, Marcus was acting a little thirsty. And well, to make a long story short, it was this thirsty behavior that made Yo-Yo want to place Marcus to the test. Yo-Yo, how are you feeling? I don't really know what to expect, and it's kind of sad to say that, you know, I don't trust my boyfriend 100%, but... <laughs> well, I mean, you do have your reasons, though. Right. I I just hope that he, you know, proves me wrong and that I can trust him. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what I say. Go in expecting the worst, but hope for the best. That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, see, they already, see, she already put in her head that, see, it's women like that. I don't, I don't like to be a liar. Oh, so you got to like that. Okay. No, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> so our friend Madeline would be our decoy. For this test, we had to pretend to be another one of Yo-Yo's friends and reach out to Marcus. Madeline pretended to want to... Hey, is this Marcus? Yeah, who's this? I'm Madeline. I'm a friend of Yo-Yo's, and she gave me her number. She told me that you were a photographer. You collab with some content. I do some modeling here and there, and nothing too crazy. All these emojis are getting on my nerves, but all right. Would you be up for saying something that my go-to photographer is away with my family a couple... Is away with family for a couple of weeks, so I'm... New connection. Oh yeah, for sure. What's up? Nice to meet you. Hell, I saw you trying to shoot some pictures right over. Yes. Dope. I'm always down for that. What you thinking? Okay, well, I'm honestly trying to shoot. I don't know what your schedule is like. What's your event? What you like? Okay. Work with Marcus and ended up convincing him to come take pictures of her at her supposed home. First of all, he said convince. Like, it was a set. Like, uh, I had to convince him. Like, bro, she had to come over and take a picture at the house. Like, how they work, how they saying this is just so crazy. What Marcus didn't know, though, is that this wasn't really Madeline's home. What he also didn't know is that this was all just the first portion of his loyalty test. Yo Yo would be in a. Y'all tell me he didn't see what cameras right there? Lame. Another room watching and listening in to see if Marcus would make a move on Madeline or not. Now, if Marcus didn't make a move on Madeline, we instructed Madeline to flip the tables and make a move on him. Hey, Marcus. She's not even that cute. Like, Madeline, not that cute. So, Madeline just got the call that Marcus is here. Okay, awesome. Just meet me at the front door. So some of Yo-Yo's friends have told her that Marcus was acting a little flirty during their photo shoots, right? Well, for the first portion of this test, we wanted to see if Marcus would end up acting like that with Madeline. Uh, I'm going to go get changed into my first outfit. There's two, by the way. Um, so if you want to just take a seat, do you need anything at all? Oh, no. Do you, you, you have any other equipment? No. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Well, just hang tight. I'll be back shortly, okay? Madeline was going to give Marcus two outfit changes, or a.k.a. a little over 30 minutes to shoot his shot. After changing into the first outfit that she would be modeling, Madeline then made her way back upstairs to Marcus. Okay, okay, okay. okay. 
Yo Yo Watch stomped through the wireless GoPro connection, and contrary to what we thought would happen, the photo shoot was actually quite professional. Marcus didn't end up making a move on Madeline in her first outfit, so Madeline went back downstairs, changed, and then came right back up with her second outfit now on. Oh, he's really getting in those angles. <laughs> he's a photographer! Marcus took some cool pictures of Madeline, which you'll see how we got them later, but he wasn't flirting with her. Sure, there were compliments thrown around here and there, but they were more photography-based. Do you want to check them out inside? It's a little hot. Okay. Yeah, let's definitely oh, yeah. that. I'm, like, sweating. I definitely So Marcus remains professional and didn't end up making a move on Madeline, so it was now time for Madeline to flip the script. As instructed, Madeline brought Marcus back inside by asking him if she could check out the photos and share a small celebratory drink with him. So just take a seat here. I will change. Oh, I have. Somebody can use a shave. They don't want you to know this. Stay with me. We'll be right out. And we're going to have a celebratory drink, by the way, so prepare yourself. Just start pulling out the pictures, okay? Of course, the real reason why Madeline invited Marcus back inside and offered him a drink was because she was about to ask him on a date. I am so wet. So they don't get him drunk and then ask him on a date. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's do that drink. I have Trulies. Is that cool with you? Trulies. Sure. Like sparkly water, but spiked. Oh, I guess. Like claws. <laughs> like the claws, exactly. But they're Trulies. Yeah. Sure. Marcus ended up taking the bait and accepted a drink from Madeline. We had Madeline offer him a drink in the first place as a way to keep him there for at least 20 minutes. See, drinking and driving is, of course, illegal. So the second that Marcus were to take one sip, Madeline could guilt trip him into staying for as long as she needed to make her move. How long does it usually take you to get photos out? I could have a few of them done in a few hours. I'll have the rest of them done by the end of the week, though. Okay, good. I definitely like a more natural, like, edit, you know, nothing, like, crazy. Crazy Photoshop and, yeah, you know, and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, why is he still sitting there? He's going through. I don't, I don't understand. You know why he's still sitting there. He's yeah. going through the pictures. Cause he's a photographer. My God. You usually, you, you drove here, right? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit to leave. So Women irritate me on a whole different wait. level, boy. Yes. No drinking and driving. Come on. <laughs> drinking no. and driving is it's it's a uh, sparkling water. 5% is 5%, okay? Yeah, I don't think 1% is going to do <laughs> Oh, I know he's not falling for that. Bro. I know he is not falling for that. Why is he still sitting there? <laughs> like, doesn't that sound suspicious to you? He's grown. He could call an Uber. So you got me. Bro, does she hear him fucking self? <laughs> got to chill this week and a lot of work this week, so. Yeah. Right uh, edit these pictures, so. True, true, true. You're right, you're right. Well, if you find some time, um, I am throwing a party next saturday if you want to oh, come through nice where here no i'm actually gonna rent an airbnb so like a little bigger house mm. it starts like at eight but if you want to come in earlier maybe you can bring like the final edits in and you can show them to me i guess so yeah that should be a problem like if you come around four i think we'll have time to like look at the photos and maybe we can take a dip in the pool maybe order food i can set up a little picnic you know make it into like a cute little date right. a little mini date a pop-up little date. Yeah, a little cute little mini date. Hey, my boy. If you're up for it, Marcus, course, so. you. Cool. Uh, Mark, you took the. All right, bro, you took the bait. Ah. Uh, How does this not sound suspicious? <laughs> So our tactical move had worked. Madeline was able to keep Marcus there until she made her move. And after making her move, she proceeded to kicking Marcus out. I'm out. I have like an errand to run. I'm so sorry. I have to cut this short. <laughs> you like kicking me out? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not kicking you out. You might as well to stay. Just kidding. No, I'm really I got alcohol though. I thought it was about my safety, but I know. I know. I thought it was about the safety. So now it's time for me to sorry. Go. She <laughs> hell. Wow. So this is what he does. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I said, now we just have to wait a week and stuff. So Madeline is pretty much just going to message him. Oh, if he shows up, it's over. <laughs> it is over. So maybe, just maybe, that one drink that Marcus drank made him susceptible to agreeing to go on this mini date with Madeline. Maybe it really messed with his head, you know? That's why Yo-Yo decided to give Marcus a chance to go home, sleep off the drink, and then decide if he really did or didn't want to go on that mini date with Me? Madeline. Me? Unfortunately, though, after Madeline texted him later that week, Marcus... Hey, Mark, sorry for late today, but I was the only crowd that you stuck on for the head of probably y'all stick for the weekend. I was about to pay you a few more words. Oh, yeah, so, okay, sweet. You still want to do anything else? I mean, uh, 
was still down to go through with the mini date. Now, if you guys recall, Madeline had told Marcus that they would be getting together at a bigger house, but we decided to save some money and execute the second phase of this test at our apartment. I mean, besides, all we were doing this time around was simply waiting and seeing if Marcus would actually end up showing up, which, as you all know, he eventually did. This is one of the ring cameras downstairs for when they're in the kitchen and stuff, because there's no cameras like pointing towards the kitchen, so I'm just going to set this up right over here so you could like, see that too, okay? Yo-Yo, myself, and the rest of our crew hit upstairs as Madeline waited for Marcus to arrive downstairs. Soon enough, Madeline ended up receiving the call that Marcus was here. Hey, hold on, hello? Marcus had arrived as he said he would, and with him, he brought an unexpected surprise. Unbeknownst to us, Marcus brought Madeline a vodka bottle and a whole damn teddy bear. Are you? I got you good. Ooh, bottle, can we get a turn? Ah! Why would you bring a te- what, what was that in her hand? Why would you bring a teddy bear? Why would you bring a teddy bear? Can I offer you anything to drink? Uh, How would you- Can I that? Yeah, it's right behind you. A bottle. And a teddy bear. And a teddy bear. <laughs> I understand the bottle, because it's a party. Right. But the teddy bear? He's sprung. That's what it is. He's definitely sprung right now. This is ridiculous. Remember, Marcus um, thinks that there's a party happening later tonight. So I can see why he brought the bottle. But the teddy bear, that was a bit much in my opinion. Teddy bear was a bit much. How was it, Jack? Oh, it was, wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad. Good. I'm glad. Regardless, though, all Madeline had to do now was simply hold Marcus there until Yo-Yo was ready to confront him. Madeline did so by asking Marcus to finally airdrop her the pictures that he took of her. She would be checking them out for the very first time. Hey. Actually, why don't you just airdrop them to me with me on Saturday? Hey, okay. Hey, what's your email? So I just should send you some of these pics. I'll text you, but they will call and text. Actually, why don't you just airdrop them this like surprise? I really don't want to see them until Saturday. In person would be better. Okay, you can't like it then. I want my picture. That's what I want. Okay. For as long as she could. So Madeline pretty much just completed her job. She sat him down right where we wanted her to. Um, now she's just basically holding him there. So now it's pretty much just up to you if you still want me to go down there and have a conversation with him. Although you don't have to. If you don't want to, you can always change no, your I, mind. I, I want to. You want to? Yes. So do you think like this is enough? Because some people would actually consider it like, oh, he didn't even do anything with her. He didn't. He, he wants he, to do something with he her. He don't want L Literally look at him. Bro. What is it with the teddy bear on the bottom? He didn't do nothing. He did nothing to her! So that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us back to where this video started. Yo-Yo has decided to confront Marcus, and I can now let you watch the confrontation in its entirety. Last thing before you do, though, don't forget to cop yourself some exclusive, limited, new merch that we've just dropped. But okay, with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was worth the wait, and most importantly, I hope you guys... Are you serious right now? What's going on here? Are you serious, Marcus? What is this? What's going on here? No, tell me what you're doing here right now. What are you talking about? I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her? You trifling. I'm trifling. Yes, I'm trifling. you are trifling, Marcus. I'm not trifling. Okay, okay. What you doing here with Loma Stain then? I already told you this is a follow-up appointment. I'm showing her the... A follow-up appointment. Oh, so you a doctor too? You a doctor too? Marcus, not a date. Marcus, this is a date. Her the this is a date. I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her. This is a date, you. and you are cheating on me I, right I, now. I, I, and I need you to admit that you are cheating. He on saw me. her picture. So that's what the camera is about. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. She said, no, bro, you about. hear? That's what the cameras are about. No. What do you mean? That's what the cameras are for? Cheater, this is an episode of me catching your dumb ass red-handed. That's what it is. So cheaters. I, I can see how you might think this is cheating. I would call it. What would you call she it? Must you call it? Professor, tell everybody, she please. must be crazy. She must be crazy. This is our follow-up. She must be crazy. follow up appointment from our first appointment. I'm showing her the pictures that I have. You know what, Marcus? God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. Start telling the truth, I'm, please. I'm telling you the truth. No, he's you, telling you're, the truth. You're a fucking liar. The, the answers have been the same. And you still don't understand them. I am here for a follow up appointment. How is this a Period. follow up appointment? You couldn't have just show, sent him the pictures? Follow up appointment. We, we met once, so I can Sir, take you couldn't have. Sir, her. listen to me. And then someone you couldn't have just the emailed her the photo. You couldn't have just emailed her the photo. not to email me to Oh. oh, so you just do everything everybody tells you. Bro, what the? Bro, it's work. I, bro, she said 
that do not email me the pictures. He didn't email the pictures. How is he doing what everybody tell him to do when it's his job? Is she not listening? Is she? Oh my God. She's not listening. Women don't listen. Let's write that down. You couldn't have just emailed her the photo. You couldn't have just emailed her the photo. She oh. asked me to come. She said, oh, come. Everybody tells you. It's called work. work. Oh, this is the working. Show. This is working. You were here four hours prior to the, the party. She you. told him to come four hours early. You were four hours early. That's just a function of our house. Four hours early. For you to show her pictures. It's going to take your slow ass four hours to show her some pictures. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit, and you know it. Stop lying. Right now, Marcus. She told you her intention. She told you her intention. You didn't have to physically come here and go on this little date. Bro, this little mini date. She okay. asked him to. Sh but but asked me to. Period. Talk your shit, Marcus. Look at me. Look at me. Madeline made it clear to you that her intention was for the both of y'all to be on a date, and you accepted. You accept it. Talk to Obviously, it. she invited me. Clearly. And you accept but, it. You accept it. Obviously, she invited me. You guys walked up in this bitch. I can't be doing any of this. She asked if one. You didn't introduce me, me to this bitch. bitch. Thank you. She asked Ooh, you. This is our follow up appointment because she asked me to come over. She asked you to she come over here for a date, Marcus. And you brought her a teddy bear and what else? And the bottle. She said she was having a party. I brought oh. gifts. Oh, okay. The fuck? <laughs> so you just bring <laughs> gifts for all of your clients. Are you dumb? Marcus. To parties that clients invite me to. Marcus. Thank you. Show Marcus. 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 Mar
Give me the phone. We got the charger. Give me the phone. I don't have any money. What's the charger? What are you going to do? Boy, oh god, get me out of my way. Go ahead, Marcus. Go ahead, walk out, bro. Go ahead, walk out, Marcus. Go ahead, walk out, bro. Yo, dumb ass. Bro, $200? So apparently, Yo Yo helped Marcus pay for his phone, and she's now asking for that money back or hold on to the phone as collateral. $200. The question is, though, will Marcus even give her any of that? Where's my phone, Marcus? Where's the phone? Marcus, where's the phone? In the bathroom. Where's my oh phone, God. Marcus? I give me my phone. Give me my phone. It's in the bathroom. It better be in the fucking bathroom, Marcus. I swear. It ain't been in. Marcus! Talk to us. That's not your phone. Come get this. Come get this. That's not your phone. This is the kind of man that Marcus is. This is the kind of man that he is. He threw my phone into the fucking toilet. Like, this is what you did. And he pissed on it. So rather than just coming to some sort of agreement with Yo-Yo about the phone, Marcus instead decided to stoop down to a very low level. I, I'm going to grab all of his fucking equipment and I'm going to light that shit on fire. <laughs> Oh my goodness, no, I am not okay right now. He threw my phone in you the toilet. You started all this, bro. Like, he threw my phone in the toilet. Phone. And he didn't just throw it in the toilet. He pissed on it. He all your fault. Like, yo, yo, you did this to yourself. Oh my God, that is so nasty. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Somebody please tell me what I'm supposed to do with bro. that. Bro. And I don't know what kind of diseases Marcus might have now that he's been running around on me. I'm going to get the one on the charger and see if it's still true. He wasn't even running around on you. This is what happens when you trust men. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just the truth of it. This is what happens when you trust men. Bro, okay. shut up. This dude is really trifling. Like, he actually... Bro, he didn't even cheat. Like, he didn't do nothing. Now, I'm not going to say all men are, like, trustworthy and stuff. But he didn't even cheat. Like, he did nothing to this girl. She just want to be... Uh, everybody everybody want to be fake hurt. Oh, my God. He, like, he didn't even do nothing to her. Like, this is so crazy to me, bro. Like, she, he didn't even do nothing. My, he had the audacity to throw my phone in the toilet. Bro, you he paid two hundred dollars on the phone. What kind of animal does that? Because that's what he is. He's an animal. You paid two hundred dollars on his phone, bro. Golly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, like she, he paid, bro. Like, it, bro. He literally went over for business, date, whatever. Cool. He was wrong for. Even if he should have just been like, nah, this is business, whatever, cool. Teddy Bear, he was really wrong for that one. I, I can't even cap it to you. But other than that, bro, he didn't flirt. He wasn't, ooh, you so sexy. Ooh, you look beautiful. Like, he wasn't doing nothing that wasn't touching her. None of that. She asked him to come to the house and show her the pictures. He did what she said. He said, can I email him to him? She said, no. He did what the client said. He can't get upset with what the client did. You set her up to, do, like, what y'all thoughts? Because she finna piss me off. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.